Okay, hi everybody. Road trip. I've got my sofa. Got my passenger. I don't know if I can show the sofa. I don't know if you can hear me. But sound issues have been really bad lately as I'm testing microphones and I now I'm wearing a mask. So it's just... Uh, well, I was just told I could get my mask off while driving, but it's still going to be a sound issue when we get to where we're going to. Uh, the last time I went to my local garden center was on the 11th of March. Yes. And then two days later, our world came to a grinding halt. So I thought it's time to get some supplies without doing some shipping and I don't know what they have. So it's a little bit of a discovery for me and take you along. No beach today. Look at this. We have a cloudy day. It's hot and muggy. I love it because it reminds me of my Kenya. And it rained again. Yesterday morning we had a little bit of rain. And today we have more rain. But not much. Not enough. Definitely not enough. And where are all these people coming from? Spain has been blacklisted as a travel destination. And um, here we are. Can you imagine what it would be like if everybody were to be just arriving like they would every year? This is crazy. This is nuts. This doesn't make sense. All the European countries have blacklisted us because of spontaneous outbreaks in very, very localized areas and um yeah look at this this is nuts i mean i'm kind of glad because normally the shops shouldn't be so full but i went grocery shopping yesterday no two days ago sorry and i just thought that's a lot of people look at this traffic for a country that has been blacklisted so I'll I mean, I'm not complaining. Our economy needs it, that's for sure. But still. So we're going west. And if we were to continue another 35 minutes, we would reach Gibraltar. But that's not what we're doing today. As far as I'm concerned, I just need to go like in and out. But we'll see what they have. I could actually walk to this place. The problem is carrying my goods back. That's a little bit more complicated. Going there is not the problem. Coming back is. And here you see on the right the mountains of the Sierra Bermeja. Quite pretty. Lots of fires happen in that area. Lots of bushfires. Whoa! Excuse me. It's the first time I'm vlogging in a car. I don't have an anti-shake gimbal. The one my daughter has, it is so complicated. I'm not too savvy on it. I tried it and it just kept flipping on me and I'm like, okay, maybe next time. So we'll do the anti-shake and walk slowly. And I don't know if I can record in here. This is where we're going. Oops, behind the bougainvillea there. I don't know if I can record in there, I shall ask. But if not, then at least you know how to get there, <laughs> if nothing else, uh, how to get there. So the place is called Agro Jardin, and it's come a long way. It was one of the first garden centers to actually become a garden center of a real big conventional sense. The owner used to own a very small little lot of land. Look at this bougainvillea, the size of it, wow. Squirrel, I digress. Um, and then he was booted out because the municipality wanted it and they gave him this crummy little piece of land right by a river and he made lemonade out of lemons. It's absolutely beautiful. The selection might not be something for an orchid grower paradise, but what he has done out of a crummy little piece of lot that he was given that the municipality thought would never amount to anything, I give him props. So we have parked, thank you very much. 
and let's see if we can go inside and record. waited long enough for the humans to leave the cactus benches. This is for you, Fernanda. You probably have all of these already. <laughs> I always think of Fernanda, nacimiento, orchids and succulents, even though these are cactus. But when I see benches like this, I'm reminded of her little garden, her cactus succulent garden. It is so cute.
Well, that was nice. Lots of eye candy. So now we're heading back. My chauffeur was very patient. And credit to the photography, which was lovely. So normally we can do a loop and go back onto the main road. But in this case, we are going down the boonies, under the bridge. This is the river part that I was mentioning earlier, where it can get really wild and flooded. And this used to be all gravel and dirt, so they've cleaned it up, which is important, especially when the flooding happens. And then if you go to the right here, you go straight down to the beach, which is very rocky and stony down there. Ooh, gridlock. And this is a little service road, which should take you down to the beach. And to the left is the main highway. And boy, have these plants grown. Damn. There we go. Little properties. And then some people don't know where they're going. Oh, they're waiting for people. Welcome to Spain. We just stop in the middle of an intersection and wait. That's awesome. Without blinking lights. Yes, it took a while until he put his lights on. That, that's great. Here's Twiga, permanent companion, making sure that the driver is behaving themselves. There's a tracking device in here. She doesn't know that, but I put a tracking device in there so I can check how she's driving, her speed, if she's being a renegade. Well, now she knows. Sorry about the jiggles. That mountain in the back there is called La Concha. It's like very symbolic for Mabea, which is as we're heading east now, which is at the foot of the mountain, is Marbella. You can get up that mountain. You can actually walk up it. I've never done that. I think they would have to carry me up on a stretcher in order to achieve it. It was a long time ago that I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. <laughs> See? Maybe one day I'll make it up question is, will I come down? <laughs> I have a feeling I've got a Stanhopia scorching in the sun by now, which is quite concerning, but I have one more stop. So if we were to continue down on this road here, which is our main artery, we would go to San Pedro de Alcantara and to Marbella. But we are not going to do that. We have to go somewhere because I need one more bit of supplies and I hope that Stan forgives me because I did not put any SPV protection, SPF protection on him. Ugh. Kind of scary. Whoops. Sorry about the garbage cans, that's not pretty. That way, please. Thank you. And as I said, you wouldn't think that Spain was blacklisted as a destination for the summer. There's a lot of people here. A lot. But it would be triple this in August. Alrighty. I hope that you enjoyed this little ride and I hope that you will enjoy 
seeing the videos that come out of my tour of my favorite, favorite garden center. It was good to see people again. See the colors again. This is the local dig down here, supermarket, pharmacy, bank, all within walking distance. It's awesome. Thank you everybody so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope to do more of these vlog sessions. I'll just have to check and see how this one comes out in order to see what I can improve on. Thank you for your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. I'll see you next time. Bye.